J M V Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now we're out in Boston for their huge concert. It's called Summer Jam. Uh, very organized, very great show. No problems, no fighting. Everything was amazing. Everybody was on the bill, including this guy right here. That's right. I'm here in the background. It's your boy Fifty Cent. I'm your host for this evening. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you recently in that brand new Rolls Royce. I had fun. I gotta have fun, you know. That was a Bentley Mosan. That's what uh, it was. What? The gold one. He has a rose too, the rose convertible, but a Bentley gold Mosan. He was driving. I don't, See, you know, I don't next know, you know why? Because he has them too. Yeah, I don't he know what too. these are. Okay, <laughs> I know it wasn't a Honda. You know, okay. it wasn't yeah. the next one. I was thinking about that. Though. I might give me the Crossfire. You know, that drop top uh, <laughs> smart car. Yeah. Now, that would like, be give hot. me some chrome rims like the you know like the uh, like the chrome golf carts. Yeah. <laughs> and just pull up on them, right? Skirt. I ain't gonna do that. Like, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? What's, what, what's happening? Now, what you doing so much with the, the effing vodka, the headphones, the Frigo underwear, the the power? You got on your Frigos now? Oh, I ain't yeah. got my Frigos oh, yeah. on. I, 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 they usually have more. No, I ain't got my Frigos they like on. his Frigos because they separate his testicles oh, yeah. from it his... It gives me... It's a pocket. Hey. <laughs> So you don't hey. sweat. So when you sweat, it doesn't give hey. you... Yeah, you know, it's, it's it takes a little longer for you to start to create that natural odor that you create. You know? And it, we call that musk. That yeah, musk. That yeah, musk. It's a precious smell. But do you still love music the same way? I do. It's, it's more interesting for me. I had a chance to take a step back and enjoy it from a fan perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, you got the new little artists that come in, and they all pretty much show me respect, so... I enjoy watching it, you know, mm -hmm. take place. You know what I'm saying? Like, for Fab, I feel like Fab still hasn't had his moment. Right. Right. Like, he's, he's dope. It's just when there's nothing going on but that, because like, it'll happen. Eventually it will. You know what I mean? Because it's the consistency. It just It's going to have a harder, for him, it's going to be longer right. process of him being consistent. So it's, it's a little more harder. But when it does happen, it'll pay off. You know what I mean? Now, have you spoken to your boy Troy Av? I saw you shout him out in his unfortunate situation. Yeah, I haven't spoken to him directly, but through, you know, through his actual attorney, Scott right. Lehman. You know, I've communicated with him. He's a good spirit, so you know, hope everything comes along with that. Right. Yeah. I, you know, when I seen that incident and they said you went to visit him or, or whoever at the hospital, I was like, you know, you know, because I mean, back in the day, you would have to run through the clubs and it was, yeah. it, was it could have been an incident at any given moment. That could have been How do you anyway. stop that, though, you know? I, well, this is unfortunate. Right. And, it, and it's interesting because it lands in the actual artist space instead of it just it happens over and over in the nightclub, but it's someone else. Right. It's not the actual artist involved. So when that happens, it, it gets... It's a little crazy, but you know, we'll see, you know, with the graces of God, he'll be all right, with, you know, in that scenario, so we'll see what happens. Because I see you in the club all the time now, 50. I'll be out there. 50 go out now. He'll be out there. I'll be out there. Now, they used to say, he be in the club, he be on that mic, he does not play. They it's say, like he don't want to leave. You always there, we never there. Now I show up, we're there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... He's there. It's to the point where I call him and be like, yo, tell Fifth he's going out too much now. He yeah. never went out before. I'm like, tell him he's now going I'm out too much. I'm going to tell you a story. So I was in Detroit, uh -huh. and 50 was at Silver Rain. Yeah. So, club? Yes. Okay. So I was like, let me go check him out. So I'm outside the club. Some incident happened. All right, but I was already there. There was all kinds of things going on outside. It didn't feel like the safest situation, but I said, I got to go in because I said I was coming. <laughs> so you get it because you stay right here. Stay right here. Don't worry about nothing. <laughs> Stay over here. It's nice and safe. What, I, feel, I feel safe when 50's around. One thing I can say about Fifth, if there's an incident in the club, he, he will go in. He doesn't care. He likes that. He's like, where are they? Fight no. I'm going in. That's it. That's that's not no more. You got to leave. When now you got to leave. You got to be like, we out of here. Now, there's, a, there's only one time I seen something that would make me feel like I should leave as soon as it, that thing in Orlando. That oh, was kind of crazy. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, that you need to leave. Yeah, yeah, you got to leave that one. Now, let's I mean, talk about Powell. Powell's coming back on TV. Everybody's yeah. excited about wait. it. Yeah, me too. Like, it. July 17th, it's actually moved it back because my birthday was the 6th and then Jeremiah's birthday is the 17th, so it'll be on his birthday now. And now the show will be coming on Sundays instead of Saturdays. Oh, really? Yeah, so. Did you expect it to be that big? Because, I mean, it's you know, I, it's look, to the point where. I anticipated being big. Like, right. when I work on a project, I, you know, I get passionate about it. And it like, when we're going to be in the Bermuda. Right, right, right. We'll right. be out there. But, you know, we start working on some other things. But we'll tell you later. We'll tell you later. <laughs> but right now, when the show, when you feel like it's going to be successful, but. I, I can't see limitations to it. If, if I don't feel like it's going to be a success, I can't work on it hard enough right. for it to be a success. And then once the project, you know, it's, it's grown on its own. Like uh, the indications that you have a hit show is when it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger mm -hmm. as it goes. You know what I'm saying? It gets better because the actual, the writing staff, everybody knows that they can feel the pulse of the actual show and they start gotcha. doing things because they know the characters and everything is feels really organic from there. When you scare me because you get a little too into character. Yeah, when I get, character. You get a little too into character. I'm like, uh, is he acting or what's going on? Yeah, I got some places I could draw from for this one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got 
people that I used that I interacted with in the past and people that, you know, like fictional pieces that, that are there, but, you know, you got to make them real. You were very involved yeah. in the direction of what Writing was happening on the show. That. Yeah, that went from the beginning, from scratch, you know what I mean? So now, you know, I feel like once I feel like the idea is right, I got another show picked up, but they didn't announce it yet, so I don't want to tell everybody what network it's is on. on but oh, it's not on Star Wars. No, it's scripted, mm -hmm. and they're going to be really surprised that I wrote the entire script. Really? That was the first script that, what I did is I brought in a team of writers to develop the world following the script. Mm -hmm. And they, they actually got it, so it was like, it's really cool. So I do some writing, and they'll probably see me direct an episode of Power in the next season. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing Power. You can't miss it. And we're with your host, 50 Cent. You right here with the morning show, baby. We ain't playing.